we can sit back and enjoy Stuart's. Okay. Right, the, the first thing was, when we met upstairs earlier, I wasn't able to see your signs. Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, I can see signs day and night. Other times they become clouded. When I looked at you, I saw all sorts of energies, but you did, in the end, tell me your birthday, because mm -hmm. I wasn't able to get it. I mean, a lot of the time I can. I think when I first met you, I got it straight away. But straight away. It all depends on the day. Um, some days I'm incredibly uh, visual with my abilities, and other days I'm not. Anyway, you, you are, in fact, a Libra, mm. born on the 27th of uh, September, <coughs> and your moon is positioned in the sign of Sagittarius. Now, your Sagittarius moon makes you a very independent individual indeed, and it also gives you a need to be go off and explore and search. It, it feels to me like you should have travelled a lot, but I don't know if you have, but it feels like you either have or you want to. Yeah, I, uh, I have. You have? Uh, yeah. It feels I like you, you, uh, India and places like that everywhere. Is what yeah. Because I see you going off. It's like you want to see the world. And you will. That's the Sagittarius moon, which gives you the independence. Also, your life force number eight. And number eight is, um, in one way... It's, it's the life force of someone who has incredible manipulative abilities, but in another way, it's someone who gives too much to family and friends and to everybody. So I would say you're an overgiver in life. You try to do too much sometimes for everybody else. You might want to try doing more for you. See, you tried hard with your family to give too much, so the more you give, the less they give back. You've got to learn to do less, and then you'll receive more. Yeah. Get the idea of what I'm going on about? That's extremely accurate. Okay. Yeah. So stop giving away so much. You even do it with girlfriends or partners or whatever. You always give too much. Mm. Being born under the sign of Libra, you find it very hard to say what you really feel. But with the moon in Sagittarius, sometimes you can actually be outspoken. Mm. So it's quite a nice uh, <laughs> thing there. Now, this year, there's a lot of sorting out and tidying up of loose ends. And there's a chance of a big romance. Are you already in that? I am already yeah. in that, yeah. It could go all the way. It's a really hot power for us, but there is some outside interference to come or has already happened. Do you know anything about that? Has anybody tried to split you up or, or put the boot in at all? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, uh, I, yeah, yeah. If you're clever, they won't be able to do it. But if, you're, if, you, if you take the bait, it'll be destroyed. When it happened to me, I took the bait. Right. But um, I've learned now, you know, to tell others to not take the bait. Don't allow um, these negative influences to work. Last year, it feels like you did a lot of restructuring in your life, sorting out of your finances and sorting out your life in Absolutely. general. Absolutely. About five years ago, I've got you very unhappy. Uh, very unhappy. You're not like that now. No. Um, now is a happier time. You've got a lot of skills and a lot of abilities. I think you will achieve more in your career. I think you've only just begun. Um, you're very open-minded, and you're also very hard-working. Yeah. You also love beauty and art and stillness and calm and peace, and you, you're searching your whole life for peace, but you don't find it very often. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. yeah. Um, you've got to look after the kidney area of your body and also the urinary area of your body, so it's interesting that you do the puppetry of the penis yeah. because that's not the strongest area of your body. It would, I don't mean I know, in yeah. everybody else at all. <laughs> I'm talking about... It, it's one of the weaker areas of your body, mm. that whole function. So be gentle with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not that, you know, seriously, it's, it's um, not the strongest. The, uh, the kidney area and urinary function in Libra is, is the, one of the weakest uh, areas. However, I don't think there's any major problem uh, to, at the moment or to come. Um, <laughs> but I, uh, is it, is it, is it not that's all right. Sorry, 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 sorry. I, like to, I like to look on Tony's face over yeah. um, Now, uh, we've got this big love. Yeah. We've got you sorting out. Are you decorating somewhere or making somewhere nice where you live or in any way sorting somewhere else? Just moved in. Just moved in, okay. Because it feels like you're making it the way you want it. Mm. So you're with her. You've got, you're sorting that out. Career's going well. A couple of years ago, you had to sort something out with your family, I feel. Does yeah. that make sense to you? Because there's a sorting there. Maybe it was your father you had to come to terms with in some way. Is that correct? Uh, both father and mother. About, yeah, the, the sorting out with the mother's gone back from like the age of 14, but my father, I had to sort something out with him. Two years ago, yeah. Two years ago. Mm. It's very let's, accurate. Yeah, let me see what else I can tell you. I just want to see what else comes in my head. Um, I think you had a lot of plans about seven years ago about what you want about 99, 2000. You started to get clear. Mm. But it seems like you've lived that cycle and now you're just enjoying the results of it. 
I feel you'll become somebody else in about 18 months to two years, career-wise. Mm -hmm. I think you'll go through the roof then and be very successful. You've got a lot of other abilities. At one point, there was even a musical side, I think. Maybe not now, but did you have that as well? Yeah. Yes, I did. I did. Um, it was... Oh, you share your birthday. No wonder I keep thinking I know you. Luke and Matt Goss right. were friends of mine. You remember Bross? Yes, yes. You're the image of Luke. Right. And, and he's September 27th. Oh, right, If okay. you're watching Luke or Matt, give us a call because uh, they've been friends of mine for years. I haven't seen them lately. Uh, last time I saw Luke, he was in L.A. You know, he did the Blade Trinity yeah. thing. And yeah. The, um, yeah, you look like him and you've got the same birthday. Right, okay. It's just funny because you do. You, you, know, you know, he shaved his head and everything. Yeah, I do. Uh, and you're the same height and build as well. Uh, and you're the same birthday, but he's older. Anyway, so back to what I was saying. I'm just waiting for information. I'm trying to see what else I can tell you. Um, it's a happy time right now, overall. Um, the person you're with, if you don't listen to the interference, you could actually really commit to them, big time. You know, there is that level of emotion. Yeah. Work-wise, it's full of improvements. The, um, you have a lot of abilities. You are a goat. Now, the Chinese goat sometimes needs to be led by somebody else. It's good for you to have a dominant partner. But sometimes, even though the goat's supposed to be led, sometimes they do the leading. And it's difficult sometimes. Now, also, I feel something to do with collecting things. Maybe you haven't started this yet, or maybe you have. Do you have any kind of collection of anything? Yes. What? Yeah, oh, we do. do. Oh, um, no. I, I went travelling with my girlfriend, the girlfriend I've just moved in with. Mm. and um, She's lovely, by the way. Really, for you. But somebody's trying to break it up or has. There is, I just want to warn you, there is a negative pull to break you. But she's ready to marry you, but they want to break it. Right. So don't let them do it, because you could marry her. She's a good girl in every way. You fit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, going back to what you were saying, because we, yeah. we went, we actually did go travelling around Thailand right. um, for three months, and uh, we brought some stuff back, and so she's uh, selling that around various markets. Yeah, because I feel that. There's like a little collection of things, and you've got a very good eye for that. Maybe it was your eye more even than hers when you were looking at things. Maybe she asked your opinion a lot. Yeah. Because Libra is the sign of uh, beauty, you know. Uh, Libra see beautiful things. I mean, Libra also find it very hard, or you find it very hard to say what you feel, but then occasionally you come out with sort of words of wisdom that manipulate a whole situation, even in your working life. Yeah. So I, I mean, I, I, would say, I would say I'm not meaning to be manipulative. because no, I look it's, at it's it, a gift. Oh, yeah, I, I think it might be constructive. and But sometimes I get people say, like, well, that's... A bit, you're, you're pushing it to go one yeah, way. Well, maybe you're pushing it to go one way for the right reasons, but I think you do. Sorry, I'm just moving here, get my energy. I think you do uh, do things uh, to create situations that suit you. And I think uh, standing up uh, comedy, stand up comedy, talking to people and using your verbal skills for that is good. But I think probably acting is your road. Right, okay. You know, if that's what you want. It's acting or business, you've got a choice. And at the moment, you know, you're very much involved uh, in trying to be within the media and working in, you know, on stage or whatever. It, it, it'll come within the next two years what the truth of it is. Yeah. Because there's, there's going to be a review next year of who you are and what you really want. And once you get past that, then you'll start on the road of whatever it is that's going to be your real life. Right, okay. Because there's also going to be, a, you know, you, you will marry and have children and then you'll need money. And, you know, you are a hard-working man. Um, a good friend of mine called Jeff Farhi, who's a film actor, he's Sagittarius. And you've got Moon and Sagittarius. And they need to travel and they need to be active and they need to do lots of different things. And I, I feel this energy with you. You know, you're someone who doesn't want to sit still doing nothing. No. You like to do lots of things. So I, I, I feel that... Um, you could turn your hand to anything. But you did a lot of proving with family and friends. You tried to get approval. You tried to get people to accept you. You tried hard to get love, I feel. That's, that's completely correct. Yeah. yeah, that's completely correct. And, and the truth is you're a very loving, very kind, very thoughtful guy. A little outspoken sometimes <laughs> with your girlfriend and things when pushed. But you're a soft, <laughs> you're a soft guy. Uh, I don't mean you can't handle yourself physically, you're, but you're a good person. You're also a great humanitarian which will come out as your life progresses. You're someone who will have, you've got a very strong humanitarian streak that's going to take you over later on in your life. You're young yet. Mm. You're 28, aren't you? 27. 26. 26, sorry, yeah. 26, yeah. Bad math. <laughs> 27. But as you get into your 40s, 50s and 60s, you will, you will become quite involved in humanitarian issues. 
Because you do care about children, you care about the world, you care about the environment. You're a deep person.